Hi, everyone. Sharon here to give you your August update on the development of our cloud environment. In July, we talked about configurable email templates and demonstrated how to transition a course from active to canceled and kind of what went on behind the scenes when a class was canceled. If you weren't here for that, pop over to our newsletter archive and open the July session and take a listen on demand. Today we're going to see what's new and we're going to talk about adding, removing, and updating payers on a profile. We're going to take a look at taking cash or check payments and some new course registration details on a profile. So let's head over and find a profile to look at payers. I'm going to do a search and I'm going to select Mr. Elliot Danzel. Let's head over to his payor tab, and he currently has two payors on his account, his mama, and he has his grandma. For these profiles, you can edit them. You can delete or deactivate. You're not going to be able to delete if that payment or payor is on an existing uh, registration record, or you can change the default. Uh, you or the students can do this on their profile. Currently, I'm in here as a staff member. So let's take a look at taking payments by cash and check now. And so I'm logged in as a staff member and I have a student in my office who's wanting to make a registration. They know the course they want to register for, this arts and crafts for youth, and we have three different sections of that. And so we are going to look at the October session. Um, and then we're going to take and you know, who are you wanting to register? And of course, it's going to be that beautiful Elliot that we just looked for. So we can search for Elliot. And I am going to select Elliot. And I'm going to add this registration to the cart after I've confirmed that this is the correct registration. So we see that we have a registration in the cart. Let's take a look at that. I'm, you can see here that this registration is being taken by a staff member, that we are enrolling Elliot Danzel, and so that's all good. And we have the options then to clear the cart, add another course, or take payment. No other courses are wanted. So we're going to head into that check registration. Now, you notice under the payer information that it's marking that default payor record that we just saw in Elliot's record. His grandmother is going to take care of this though. So I'm going to edit that payer information. And we now see both of those options here. And instead of Caitlin, we're going to select grandma. We'd also have the option to add a missing payer and it would search the, as a staff member, I could search the existing payers in the system, choose somebody else to add as a payer as well to add even a third payer option to Elliot's record. But for today, we're going to select grandma. Grandma is now paying. Any payment notes you want to add in there and we're gonna put in a check number and we're going to complete the registration. You see that we're working on showing a receipt, and being able to print it or export the information, but what's going on behind the scenes is Elliot or his, and me as the person that paid and his mama, because she owns that profile, are now getting confirmation notices in their email. Okay, let's jump out of here and we're going to go take a look at the third item I mentioned that the additional course registration details. So let's head over and take a look at a course. Since we've registered for this one, let's take a look. And we see all the registrations for this course with who registered them what they paid, and the balance they owe. This will allow me to dig in even deeper and go into that course even and see what payments and fees were selected for that registration. So I can see right here that today I registered, that Elliot was registered in this course. It was paid by check and it was paid by me. So the, you can also look down here and it'll show the fees and things that associated with the course. So some great information for you as a staff member.
All right, that's what we have for this month. Brandon is working on adding credit card information. I'm sure when I checked out, you were saying, oh, wait, 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 cash and check only. What about credit card? Yes, he's building that out. And so he's working on that. He's also working on how to cancel individual registrations and a refund wizard. So those are the three things being worked on. And we'll have more information next month. Drop me an email if you have questions or would like to see anything else. Thanks for joining us.